Alright guys, Chris and I were about to do some trades, just going through my stuff. I'm going to see if I can try to get this right here. Super Smash, L Zelda, maybe L Street Fighter. This is made in Mexico by the way. No, I'm just kidding, I don't know, I'm just saying that. Yeah, that brown guy right here is Mexican. But we're going to do some trades to see what's up. And, uh, I just picked up this right now. It's actually in very nice condition. So we'll see. We'll see. What's up, guys? Welcome to the pick up video. This is everything I picked up today from the Santa Clarita Swamp Meet, and I just uh, did a trade with my buddy Chris. Have you guys seen him in the video? And also did a late night pickup uh, just recently as well. So let's get to this video. So these three complete unbox games I got from Chris. Uh, we did a nice trade, so I gave him super. Um, I gave him a couple of loose card games, and he gave he gave me Super Smash Brothers complete unbox, very nice. The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time also complete box, good condition. And of course, one of my favorite games. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, also in complete box. So thank you, Chris, and thank you for the trade. And then uh, these are the Swami pickups. Um, there was quite a few stuff today, guys, but honestly, these vendors today was just being piggy on the prices, man. And they had some good quality stuff, but I mean, they were asking like 10, 15, 20 bucks a piece, and you know, that ain't happening for me. So for 10 bucks a piece, I got Shimu 2. And Street Fighter Alpha Anthology and both of them are in mint condition so happy to have that in collection um, same thing with this this guy wanted uh, 10 bucks a piece but I brought it down to five bucks a piece I don't know why I even still paid for it uh, especially for Toy Story 2 for the PS1 um, this one is kind of uncommon. You don't really see it. Bomberman Fantasy Race, and it's made by Atlas, which I didn't even know Atlas made uh, Bomberman games. But yeah, I bought it for five bucks a piece. I don't know if that was really worth it or not, but whatever. Um, I got this from my good um, buddy Sean that sells. He's a he's actually a vendor at the Santa Clarita Swami, so he gave me this along with Excite Bike. And this very uncommon track and field 2000. You don't see this game often. So uh, he gave me a, uh, a nice deal for these games. And then on what? A um, uh, couple, like, couple of hours ago, I picked up The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on OfferUp. Um, this girl had a couple games. Um, some filler Sega Genesis games and also N64 games. And obviously the one that caught my eye Legend of Zelda um, would post it within three minutes I guess I was the first one to respond um, she asked for offers I said one price and she said yeah come pick it up so I went and got it and then once I got there she's like yeah I had like 20 people asking for this game so you're the first one so um, I guess I got lucky but uh yeah guys I mean honestly this is a this is a very cool little pickup I mean honestly you got a very very fun popular game you got another very fun popular game complaining box a good fighting game a good anthology and I love the alpha series of Street Fighter so this is all in one so I'm very happy to have that uh, Shenmue is a great great game this is the 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 the, the continued version from the Dreamcast, so that's awesome. Um, Bomberman, which is kind of like a, you know, I guess very uncommon to find. Toy Stories, like whatever. Um, uh, Zelda, Spy vs. Spy. I mean, it's a good stuff. Honestly, it's a, you know, it's a little, a little pickup, but it's a good pickup. So I'm happy, um, you know, excited to put this all in the collection. So, um, not bad, not bad for a Sunday. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys like the games I picked up this past Sunday, but there's something that I really wanted to talk to you guys about, and that's these upcoming uh, video game events for all of us gamers there, so let's get to it. Right, so for the very first event on July 30th, the video game store Game Swappers are going to be hosting Retro Respect 14, 
which is going to be located at the Finish Line Sports Bar in Pomona, California. Um, the great thing about this event, of course, it's a buy sell trade event, but the main attraction to this, it has an auction where you could basically have anything, um, any like toy collectibles, comic books, um, some sign, autograph, anything. It could be anything. Um, and that's the, like the cool part about it. Um, besides that, you know, the retro gaming community getting all involved. And um, last time I went, it was my first time going, so I can't wait to go to this upcoming event, which will be Retro Respect 14. The second and third event, unfortunately, both of them, they are on the same day, which is August 6th. But um, you're going to have to decide which one you want to go to. Um, the first one is going to be Yestercon. Yestercon is something kind of new. It's their third year. Um, I barely found out about it uh, about a week ago. Um, basically, it's it's targeting your childhood. Everything that that you grew up with. You know, the, your Ninja Turtles, your Power Rangers, your Pokemon, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything. Everything that we all grew up with your childhood. And, you know, it's more of like a collectible place where they have toys, comic books, um, and of course some of the retro games. But um, honestly, I did a lot of research on it and it's only 10 bucks to get in. I saw some YouTube videos of people that went last year and honestly it looked pretty cool. Um, and that's going to be in Carson Center in Carson, California. So remember guys, that's August 6th and it's only 10 bucks to get in. Alright guys, and unfortunately this other event which is going to be the same day as Yestercon. Um, the, it's the video games are called Pixel Vaughn event. Um, the owner, his name is Armando um, and he's awesome. He's a cool dude. He gives you great deals and his store is cool but what makes his event even better, um, you know, it's a, it's a tight community and what I mean by that is everyone knows each other. Everyone knows like how to, you know, uh, respect each other, approach each other, um, you know, just to be, have, have an open friendship with everyone. And uh, I met, you know, like every other event, I that day I actually met a lot because it was my first time going since it was in a different, you know, city. And uh, usually I don't drive out that far, but you know, it, he gave me some great deals um, and stuff that I needed for the N64. And honestly, I'll recommend to go to this event too. But that's going to be a decision that you guys have to make if you guys want to go to Yestercon or to the Pixel Vault event in Ontario, California. Fourth event, this is a huge one. This is Game On Expo, which is gonna be held in the Phoenix Convention Center in Phoenix, Arizona from August 11th to the 13th. I will be attending for sure. Um, it's gonna be my first event. I'm gonna be co going with my brother and a couple buddies of mine. So uh, it's going to be, you know, a road trip basically. It's going to be a fun trip. Um, can't wait. I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, one, of, one of my favorite idols, his name is John, Gamester81. Um, he's going to be there, of course. It's, you know, his event. So I can't wait, you know, to go over there, have, you know, have some fun, um, look at games, meet new people, and maybe do some sightseeing in Arizona since... I don't really go there often, but uh, but definitely, guys, go to Game On Expo. Fifth event. This is my personal favorite. It's the reason why. It's in my backyard. It's in a neighborhood where I grew up as a child, and honestly, it's here in the valley. And what I mean by valley, the Retro Valley Game Swap, which is going to be on August 20th, located in the video game store Game Realms in Burbank, California hosted by my boy Romeo and also one of the owners of Game Realms, Will. Um, this event is amazing. This is going to be our third event. I'm going to be a vendor there along with my partner Chris. Uh, for many reasons, it's in the valley, which makes it great. Uh, it brings all the gaming community together, and even if you're, you're new to the community, um, if this is your first time here it. Hearing about this event, honestly, this is a very sick event, um, and I'm always, always happy when I go, especially when you have an awesome game store like Game Realms, and then you have in the patio area basically a swap meet of games. 
and honestly this event is sick so guys I do recommend to go to this event please tell your friends or family co-workers whoever just come to this event you're gonna have a great time you won't regret it trust me all right guys last but not least this event actually it's not an event this expo this expo is gonna be located in Las Vegas Nevada baby yes Sin City this event is gonna be on August 27th on a Sunday it's only a one-day event and this event is called the GameStop Expo I went last year when they had it in Anaheim and it was also my first time going and I had a blast trying out the new games that are coming out um, waiting in line to get free stuff I don't know how many games I got I probably got like 10 or 12 free games from PS3 PS4 some exclusive stuff that we haven't received yet a lot of you know collectible figures um, posters uh, comic books it's just it's just fun and then the main thing about this event you gotta try out all the new games that are gonna be coming out later on the year so I do recommend go to GameStop and not uh, GameStop go to the GameStop Expo um, and the best part you know it's in Vegas so and the even a better part the day before that which is gonna be August 26 is the Mayweather versus McGregor fight so how cool is that you know, on Saturday you're gonna have the fight and then on Sunday you're gonna have an awesome expo in Sin City so to me that's that, that's amazing so you know I'm gonna be partying gambling watching the fight go you know go to the expo get some free stuff you know it's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome weekend it really is so I'm definitely gonna be going to that one actually I bought VIP tickets so yeah cuz you know how I roll in VIP but besides that guys um, those are all the events that are gonna be happening on but yes guys take it all in because it is a lot of events and even though if you can't make it to all of them at least try to go to maybe you know one two or even of the three events maybe because um, you the thing is you say you will go but then you start flaking honestly guys just go trust me I was like that when I was like nah this events gonna suck or they're not gonna have games that I want as long as you start going to all these events the cons the expos even video game stores just go where you could get those great deals and remember guys it's not like you're always just buying buying you know wasting all your cash you could take your games and trade them in for something that you might need whether it's for trade for trade for dollar for dollar or a pay difference at least you get the games that you want so that's why I recommend to go to all these events and trust me I'm gonna be attending to each one so this is gonna be an awesome awesome month of August of just pure events and of course in the end of July for retro respect 14 but till then guys I'll see you guys in one of those events and if you have any questions please comment down below give me a like on this video and honestly let's just hang out and play some games I'll see you guys next week.